Hey Libra, rising storm here. So I'm going to be doing your general love reading from now until the end of July. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Take what applies. Feel free, feel free to switch the storylines however you like, okay? So I'm going to be looking into your overall view, your energy, Libra, the person that you're dealing with. Why is it all happening and the possible outcome for now into the end of July 2020, okay, in regards to your love life here. So what is going on with the zodiac sign of Libra in regards to love? Give me an overall view, your energy, Libra, the person that you're dealing with. Why is it all happening and the possible outcome for now until the end of July, please? What is going on for Libra? Okay. Alright, so... Your overall view here is a star, so you're wishing and hoping for something, okay? This, you could be dealing with an Aquarius here, alright, for some of you, but not all of you. So something is up in the air right now. Something is, okay, so something, um, there's a decision or a choice that needs to be made, and something here is just definitely up in the air right now, currently. For some of you okay um, I feel like there's some sort of wish or something that you're hoping for here you have the world in reverse so there's a lack of closure between you and the person that you're dealing with here or there's a cycle that hasn't fully closed out or at least that's how you feel all right you could be done with the Sagittarius all right but there's something here that you there's you're in, up in the air about here all right, the per and the person that you're dealing with, you could be dealing with the Capricorn or Scorpio. All right, um, there was some sort of ending that happened between the two of you. Okay, for some of you, with that Death card here, the person that you're dealing with, this could. Um, I gotta clarify that Devil card here, but we'll we'll do that. It's all happening to the Temperance and reversed. So there's a lack of balance. There's a lack of healing here. Someone here. It, there's no balance and there's no healing. Someone here has a hard time healing or this could also mean some sort of a patience. Okay, maybe you're lacking patience as well. So tell me about the star card, please. Clarify the star card. What is going on with the star card for Libra? Clarify that, please. Tell me about the star card. And the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So why is this Nine of Pentacles in reverse here, please? Yeah, so this is someone from the past, okay, that um, you, I feel like you don't want to, for some of you this could be a codependency, but if for, but then for some of you it feels like you don't want to be single from the past, or you don't want, there, there's something here that has to do with the past that you don't want to be, that you don't want to let go of that you're still wishing for. So why is this two of pentacles here? Clarify the two, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Clarify the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles, please. What can you tell me about this Two of Pentacles? Yeah, this is a wish fulfillment. So, you know, you're you're seeing this situation or this past person as a wish fulfillment. There's something here that you're wishing. Like I said, with the star here, it's like you're wishing upon you wishing on a star. Okay, and there's some sort of decision or something here that you're juggling. Uh, that seems to be a little bit up in the air, but it's a wish fulfillment for you, and you feel like there's unfinished business. All right. So why the wheel? Uh, why the wheel? <laughs> why the world in reverse here? Clarify the world in reverse for me, please. Why is this world in reverse? Why the world in reverse here? So ooh. I don't know if you cut this person off or they cut you off here. All right, somebody cut somebody off is what I'm seeing here with that queen. There, there's unfinished business because somebody cut somebody off. Okay, I, it, it could be you. You're the one who cut this person off, Libra, or the person that you're dealing with could have cut you off. Hence the the feeling of, uh, you know, closure not being had here or a cycle not being finished or unfinished business. All right. So what's going on here with Libra's person? Why the devil card here? Tell me about the devil card, please. What can you tell me about this devil card? Clarify the devil. My cards are always just all over the place. <laughs> tell me about the devil card, please. Why is this here? You can be dealing with the Capricorn and the Seven of Pentacles. So. 
over here is obsessively waiting or they're kind of like obsessively putting time into something here okay um i feel like the situ the situation happened to end between the two of you there's unfinished business somebody cut somebody off and because it feels uh uh, like unfinished business. It still feels like a wish here that you have Libra and this is someone from the past The person that you're dealing with I feel like they're obsessively putting their time and, and, and work into something they're obsessively waiting Or they're obsessively planning planning something here. All right Why the death card tell me the death card clarify the death card for me, please. What can you tell me about this death card? Why the death card here? And the King of Swords in reverse. But this person, um, this person seems to, for some of you, this person wants some sort of transformation with you. Okay, the death card doesn't always necessarily mean, uh, well, it, it's endings, but not all the time. But it's also transformations too, right? So I feel like this person's obsessively waiting on something here. It could be money or whatever the case may be. I feel like they're planting things or planting seeds here. And they're either, this is someone that you had an ending with. And if that's not the case, then this is someone that wants to transform something with you. But the problem here is that you guys are not communicating. Okay, the problem here is that you guys are not communicating. This person tends to be a little bit cold on the exterior as well. So this person may be giving you the cold shoulder or, you know, um, they're, they, they're like uh, a little bit cold in the face. Okay, they're, they're acting cold or d disconnected. So it's all happening to the temperance in reverse here. So this is a lack of patience, a lack of patience, all right, um, a lack of healing. There, for some of you, you still there's some sort of healing that needs to be done for some of you, okay? But uh, why is this temperance in reverse, please? Clarify the temperance in reverse, why that? And the seven of cups. So, um, why the seven of cups here? Clarify the seven of cups, please. For some of you, you're keeping your options open. And the moon card. So here's the thing. Whoever this is, Libra, they're uh it could be you or it could be them, okay, but they're having a they're having a hard time being patient. It's like they're having a hard time being patient, and for some of you you're keeping your options open, but that that's just one storyline. And for some of you, whoever this is, they're kinda like uh in the clouds about you or they're like daydreaming about you or whatever the case may be. But the thing is, I clarified, you could be dealing with the Pisces, by the way, um, but I clarified, I clarified the Seven of Cups with the Pisces, the Moon card, all right? So this person is keeping things to themselves, all right? It could be you, you may be keeping this to yourself, or they may be keeping this to themselves, or both of you can be keeping this to yourself. Take it how it resonates, you know? But no one here is speaking up. I feel like, Libra, this is your wish fulfillment here and the person that you're dealing with Libra I feel like they're keeping things hidden from you I feel like this person is like obsessed with you or they're obsessed about planning things or planning there's something here that they're planning on there that they are obsessed with all right but the thing is that they're acting cold and detached for now this is someone you're not speaking to this is the past person all right and I feel like you know they're all in their head about you Libra but they're not saying anything, and I feel like a part of them is. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just the part of them feels that they're losing patience. Okay, I'm just gonna say that they they feel like they're they're losing their patience. Whew. All right. So how does this person view this person? Please. Oh, how does Libra view this person? How do they see this person? How does Libra see this person? Please. How does Libra see this person? You see this person as someone who is not moving, Libra? Why is this Knight of Pentacles in reverse here? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. You see this person as someone who is not coming forward towards you right now, okay? You may view them as someone who's stuck right now or the situation is stuck, okay? There's a lack of forward movement between the two of you because no one's speaking. There's a whole lot of uh, uh, daydreaming and wishing and hoping, but no action, okay? 
um, you view this person as someone who's really not coming towards you and who could be potentially stuck in a situation in their mind or maybe they're overthinking things. Maybe you could be overthinking things. So how does this person uh, view Libra, please? What can you tell me? How does this person view Libra? How does this person view Libra? They view you as the Queen of Wands. So they, they, um, they view you as someone who's very sexy and attractive. Okay? They, they, they view you as someone who has it going on, who's very beautiful, very sexy, very attractive. Okay? That's how they view you. But I feel like... The, I feel like they keep it to themselves. So why is this Queen of Wands here? Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with the fire sign here. And the six, they view you as the six of one. They view you as the six of wands in reverse. So they view you as they view you as someone who is beautiful, right? Someone who is attractive. But um, at the same time, with that Six of Wands in reverse, they view you as someone that they, they failed with or they didn't have something successful with. Or maybe they feel maybe they feel like they're not confident enough here is what I'm getting with that Six of Wands. It's something about a lack of failure here. They feel like they failed or something wasn't successful or something won't be successful. All right? I don't know. All right, so what's the possible outcome here from now until the end? of July 2020, the very ending of July. So what's going on here? What can you tell me, please? What's the possible outcome for now until the end of July for this situation? What's the possible outcome here? The Empress, growth and expansion, can be dealing with another Libra for some of you, okay? What's the possible outcome here, please? What is the, if I can get my cards. <laughs> what's the possible outcome here? Yeah, so there's a whole lot of thinking about one another, okay? Um, I'm still seeing a break being taken place between... Okay, so... Uh, there is a potential for you guys to come together and have some sort of second chance, okay? Um, but the thing is, is that I feel like, you know, the separation is a problem between the two of you. And the fact that no one here is speaking up, someone here has to speak up. Because there's a potential here with that Empress and the, and, and the Judgment card, right? There could be a potential second chance between the two of you, potential growth and expansion here, all right? But there's going to be a lot of thinking about one another. <laughs> That's my baby. Anyway, that was your reading. If it resonated, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.